let's start with the next set for cset paper 2 prelims uh, now the first set talks about the productivity of the staple crops like rice and wheat and this has reached a plateau. Now it says that neither new strains nor agrochemicals are raising the yields. It is now stable. So much of the change has been brought by the affluent farmers in the West and the America. The techniques have been developed in the West and have been more productive. The technology is of little use if it is not adopted. Now in the developing nation, this applies as much to the existing farming technique modification as it does to the latest advan advances in genetic modification. It also focuses on better roads, storage facilities to carry the uh, surplus to the market and reduce the wastage. So based on this, which of the following assumptions can be made? Uh, based on this, I cannot say that development of agriculture technology is only confined to developed nation. It says developed nations have developed technologies but it does not say that it is only confined so this is not the correct statement agricultural technology is not adopted in the uh, developing nation that's again incorrect so both of them are not a valid assumption based on the statement based on the passage another question based on the same thing is uh, another assumption poor countries need to bring about a change in their existing farming practices that's correct uh, and developed countries have better infrastructure and they waste less food so if we go back to the passage it clearly says that yes we need to bring in farm technique modifications and then they have uh, developed the techniques to have the surplus to the market and reduce the wasted so both of these become the right assumptions so both a and b one and two are the right assumptions here the next is based on the above passage which of the following assumptions have been made growing enough food for future generations would be a challenge no it's not talking about uh, future generations nor it is talking about corporate farming and its viability so the, both these assumptions cannot be derived from the passage so neither of these are correct here the next question focuses on 24 letter uh, question sorry question 24 the letters a b c d e are arranged such that there are exactly two let letters between a and e so two letters between a and e what could be it b c c b b d d b and uh, c d and d c okay so six combinations here right now a and E could be interchanged. So 6 into 2 which is 12 and you can have one more letter. Okay. So this could be either at the beginning or could be at the end. So two more combinations. So that is 24. So 24 becomes the right option. Okay. So these are the ways through which you can possibly arrange this uh, these letters. The next question is on one side of the 1.01 kilometer long road 101 trees are planted so 101 trees so this is the first tree this is the 101 tree how many gaps could be there 100 gaps could be there okay because if there are three how many gaps would be there there would be two gaps okay so if there are 101 100 gaps so 1.01 divided by 100 into between five consecutive plants right so five consecutive plants one two three four and five so how many gaps four so into four now uh, this is in kilometers so it is 4.04 divided by 100 into thousand that is 40.4 so correct answer is 40.4 here the next question is a b and c are three diff three places and there are three different roads from a to b so A, B and C. A to B there are three different roads. B to C there are four different roads. So what are the combinations? 3 into 4. 12 combinations. And then there is three other roads from A to C. So plus 3. So how many total ways in which a person can travel is 15. Right? So that's the option here. The next is A gives some of his... Uh, a has some coins he gives half of the coins plus two more to b b gives half and two more to c c gives half and two more to d d has the smallest two digit number smallest two digit number d has 10 now how much c would have 10 minus 2 into 2 
So C would have 16, right? So if C gives half, that is 8 plus 2, that becomes 10, which is D, correct? So B would have 16 minus 2 into 2, that is 28. And A would have 28 minus 2, which is uh, 26 into 2. 26 into 2 is 52. So 52 is the right option here. The next question is, in the series, which letter appears at the 100th place? Very interesting. So understand the series. This is A, A, B, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E right and so on so i am increasing one alphabet in the each of the series now how many terms should be there it should be n into n plus one divided by two should be greater than 100 okay because the sum of the numbers from one to n okay is what n into n plus one divided by two should be greater than 100 so n into n plus 1 should be greater than 200 the smallest n that i can get through this is how much n is equal to 14 now since n is 14 that means there are the 14th term now what would be the 14th term i count on a b c d it goes up to n so from a to n would be the 14 term so a b c d e f g h i j k l m n that would be the term that I would have. Now, in this term, what would be the last one? Last one would be how much? 105 letter. So, N is which letter? 105th letter. Now, I have to find out the 100th letter, which it would be? It would be I. I just move 5 places back to it. So, it becomes I. Clear? So, the correct answer here is I. The next question Three persons A, B and C are sitting in a queue, not necessarily in the same order. There are four persons, sorry, just a second. So there are four persons between A and B. Okay, so between A and B, there is one, two, three and four persons. Okay, and seven persons between B and C. I have to find out the minimum. So if I keep C on the other side, it would be maximum. I keep C on this side. So between B and C there are 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and this is C. Now uh, if there are 11 persons ahead of C, so after C 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, uh, and then you have the person here and 13 person behind A. So A 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 30. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So my answer becomes 22. And that's how you calculate. I could have taken C on the other side, but then I would not have got the maximum, sorry, minimum number. Our intent is to find the minimum number, right? The next is again a passage which is focusing on evolution, the natural selection theory. And it says that evolution cannot be explained as a theory. It's just a fact uh, similar to the other facts that exist. So Darwin's theory of evolution is not a theory at all. It is merely a fact. The mechanism of evolution is amply supported by scientific data. And it mainly talks about the genomes which were unable to with withstand the various vagaries and the biological mishaps, the concepts that Darwin was unaware about. But yes, now we can explain it with the help of genomes. And the set of existing organisms can never be fully prepared for our, uh, environmental catastrophes that await life, right? So here, according to the passage, natural selection cannot anticipate the future environment on the earth as uh, species are not fully prepared to face the environmental challenge that await them, correct? All the species would get extinct. The passage does not talk about all the species getting extinct. Extinction is a common feature, correct, and the instability of the genome to withstand environmental changes would result in extinction. That's again given. So 1, 3 and 4 are the 
correct options in this passage. Uh, the next is the passage of suggests that the Darwin's theory of evolution is not a theory at all because there is no evidence to refute it and therefore it says the author says it is a fact and it should be as it is accepted. The next is with reference to the passage which of the following assumptions can be made. Only species which have the ability to overcome environmental catastrophe can survive and perpetuate and that's something that can be uh, taken from the passage because it says assumption is valid based on the passage I can read the passage and understand that yes only the species that have the ability to to overcome the catastrophes can survive and the rest genomes would uh, vanish because of the uh, genetic or biological mishaps. 90% of the species are in danger of extinction. Nothing has been mentioned. Darwin's theory explains all natural phenomena is not at all mentioned. So one only is the right option. The next question, with the steady economic growth, higher literacy and increasing skills, we are now moving to a higher protein-based diet which requires more water. Electronic machines and gadgets again require more energy and more energy needs water. Okay, So this passage solely focuses on the importance and the need of water and therefore water management practices need to change dramatically in the coming year is the message or the crux of the passage very very important passage very very um, uh, directly incited right now this is a tricky question if you start calculating you would spend a lot of time we have a quick trick x is the seconds now 60 minutes so 60 x okay i keep it as one x for the first one then how many hours it would be 16 to 60 hours so 3 6 double zero x then you would have 24 into 3 6 double zero x and then 7 into 24 into 3600x. Now don't calculate, simply go by the logic. The last digit has to be 1, so these two options cannot be the answer. Then the next option, the next digit has to be 6. So again this cannot be the answer, only this can be answer. Solve and you would get this as the answer. Need not to solve during the exam, but yes, if you want to get a proof check, you can solve. The next question is, there are 6 family members, okay. R is the spouse of Q. U is the mother of T, S is the daughter of uh, U and P's daughter is T, okay. So P's daughter is T and R's son is P, okay. So R's son is P. So that's the correct hierarchy that is given. Now, I cannot say whether R or Q, who is male, who is female, but definitely they are, Q and R are the grandparents of S and T. So Q is a grandparent of T, that is correct, but whether Q is grandfather or grandmother, I cannot comment, okay. R is the mother, again I do not know the gender of R, so I cannot comment, but T's gender I know, because it says P's daughter is T, okay, so T is female, so T is the granddaughter of Q that is definitely correct so D is the right option. The next question is there are uh, two statements and four conclusions sorry it's incorrectly written so these are conclusions okay both of the all these four are conclusions now all pen are books okay no chair is a pen so chair can be here or chair can be here any of the combinations can be there now all chairs are books if all the chairs are here i can say they are book but chair if it is here it cannot be book so if this conclusion is not correct no chair is book again the same thing if it is outside or inside would determine if it is inside then this becomes false all books are chair that's incorrect because book is the superset so that's again incorrect some chairs are pen some chairs are pen cannot be possible because no chair is a pen so this is not possible so none of these conclusions follow correctly the next question, again a similar type of question. So I'll go by the all ones first. So all teachers are engineers and all engineers are scientists. I have some doctors who are teachers. Now some doctors who are teachers can be here or some doctors who are teachers can be here. Based on this, I can say some scientists are doctor definitely. Some scientists could be doctor because either here it is or here it is. Some of them would be scientists. So this is correct. All engineers are doctors. That is incorrect. Definitely not. Seeing the Venn diagram, some engineers are doctor. 
some engineers are doctors is correct even if their doctors are here or here some engineers would be doctors so conclusion one 